Hey everybody, it's that time of week we call Faxman Friday, where we talk sports, do plugs, and tell you about crazy stuff that's going on with me and everything else. Okay, what do we start? Baseball? No, here's where we start. So I go to the doctor. Okay, you know, do them physicals. You gotta do it like once every year or something, you gotta do a physical. And my doctor's a dick. You know, he's the type of guy where you gotta get a prescription refilled, which I get the same stuff all the time, you gotta come in and see me. Go in and see him. Hey, Joe, how you feeling? All right. How about them uh, Patriots? Look good this week, huh? No, Doc, you're not getting a football pick from me. If, you, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna get a football pick, don't fucking charge me a six-dollar copay. So he goes to me. He's like, all right, a couple of things I need to talk to you about. After he sticks my, his finger in my ass. On um, actually, that was my finger. I'm sorry. Wrong visit. Wrong doctor. Joe, I think you need to lo lose a little weight. Really. Fucking, you earn that degree on that wall, buddy. I must have studied real hard at fucking med school. Uh, find it hard getting up in the morning? I actually know. It's usually soft. Why? You fucking taking notes? These doctors ask the stupidest fucking questions. How's your sexual drive? Well, I stopped jerking off in the car, so I have no sexual drive. Plus, I can't drive it one hand. It's the shit that these fucking doctors ask me. Let's get the plugs out of the way. Don Best, my boys, Don Best. Where do you get your lines? USA Today. No, you don't, you fuckhead. You should get it at Don Best. Follow them guys on Twitter, at Don Best Sports. You might learn a thing or three. Did I say that right? A thing or three. Yeah. Don Best, at Don Best Sports. Follow them on Twitter. They follow me. You follow them. It's kind of like a daisy train without broads. Speaking of which, I was two broads short of a threesome last night. That's how fucking bad I'm running. Baseball means nothing. Speaking of baseball, Kelly and Jimenez on Friday in Fenway. Here's something that I find a little odd. Not, not odd, but I mean, I give you a bunch of stats and shit like that. But generally, when they make a line on a total in the game, odds makers and betters' first reaction is how did the pitchers do the last game? They want to see. If you pitch, some pitchers have, you know, they run three, four, five starts, you know, in the pitching well. That's what you have to look at. I think between both pitchers, go seven innings. Both give up three hits. One tosses a shutout. One gives up one run. So on paper, you say, wow, this is a pretty good pitching matchup. You know, you would figure this total, which always sits, uh, historically sits around eight and a half on average, you know, may stay that way. You think it could drop. But, you know, on Friday, when you look at your totals in Major League Baseball, this will be the highest total on the board. They got it at nine. They're taxing the over at 125, which means... You know, anybody that makes a plug on this game hard, this thing will go nine and a half. Okay, so it'll be the highest total on any game on Friday. We're pretty solid number. They just gave you on two pitchers. So why is it that high? Well, you know, Baltimore scores, you know, 5.2 a game, give up 5.1. Boston scoring six a game, giving up like five and a half. Um, Boston and Baltimore both like right-handed pitchers. So I guess that's the advantage there. Also, uh, the Orioles score when they beat Boston when they were in Fenway, they're, they're they're scoring five runs a game. They're they're scoring five, actually five and a half. So so they score runs. W what's the best way to beat a team that's scoring six? Fucking score five or six. I, I see both of these teams hitting. I, I, I you put a gun to my head, I really can't pick a side in the game. Um, I, I think the team that scores uh, six runs. You know, seven runs, eight runs, wins the game. Um, I have some notes. Do I have notes? I don't think I have notes. Um, I, I, I think it's I think it's an over. Could be wrong, but I think it's an over. What what I think might be a better play, and is and I love the history of these pitchers. In the past, the first three four innings they've struggled a lot, and that's what they had. Like Jimenez, he's fucking. He's hit or miss. He's liable to throw a good game, but if he if you see him in the third game, we lost. Okay, unless the other team holds their end up, but he he, he tends to to get hit early. Possibility of the first five innings, you know, you probably get a total of four and a half or five. You know, that that would be a consideration. Um, that, recommendations. That, that that's all I'm really doing. I, I think the game it goes over. I, I think. Uh, both teams will score. End of story. But this is baseball. Anything could happen. Uh, shout outs. The buddies over at um, 
Don Best, I just said. Oh, my sponsored books. Looking at this game. Kansas City's going to get beat again. Fuck them. Um, shout out. Uh, bookmaker. www.bookmaker.eu. If you're not playing there, start. It's where I play. It's a good, good book. Things going on this week. Just kind of give you an idea. NBA, NHL playoffs. Getting ready to start. It's an exciting time of year. Uh, I'm going to give you some bonus coverage. A very good friend of mine that follows the, the NHL. I don't do it. I don't know much about it. I actually do, but I don't really talk about it. I don't bet NBA, uh, uh, NHL. Um, St. Louis Blues as a series bet. Uh, I think they're playing Minnesota. Um, I know a couple of people that kind of maxed out limit-wise over at Bookmaker on that game. Some, some, some pretty respected guys. So um, I, did, I did bet the St. Louis Blues to win the series. I didn't do anything else in hockey. So I, I don't know if you guys will get this in time. If you're, This will be posted on Thursday, so if you have time, get it. If not, that's who I have. So this will be up Thursday. Um, pretty much that's it. Next month I'll be traveling a lot. So I'll be going from location to location for you guys. So I, I, I'll do my best not to miss a beat. At any time if I do, www.sportsforumpicks.com. You can find me there. If my, any fluke, I, I'm not able to do a video one week. I'll have something written up for you guys over there. And... Um, We'll keep you guys up to date. Next couple weeks, here's what I want to do. I want to talk about Kentucky Derby as we get closer. I want to talk about the Pacquiao fight. I'm going to do a complete video, maybe about a 10-minute video, breaking down that fight, uh, Pacquiao and Mayweather. So that will be coming in the next two weeks as well. It may not be on Friday. It could be midweek. So look out on YouTube or come to the forum and check it out. So so that's pretty much it. Like I said, a pretty easygoing video outside of my doctor story. Um and that's it. You know, if you like the video, tell your friends. If you don't like the video, keep your fucking mouth shut. For all my friends at Don Best Bookmaker, YouTube, Spank Magazine, a Spankwire porn site, I'm sorry, and the rest of the porn sites that I visit on a frequent basis. Have a great day. Good luck. And as always, go fuck yourself.